From the time he came into the limelight two days ago, he has maintained what seems to be his signature character, a jovial, playful personality. This was weary after Principal Magistrate Grace Masharia read the sentence. You will serve life imprisonment. His reaction to the sentence quite unprecedented, coming after his confession that he was indeed the man behind the explosion at OTC bus station in downtown Nairobi. We confessed that he was an Al Shabaab militant trained in Somalia. Before being posted for the mission in Nairobi this August, anti-terrorist police units say his unit commanders in the militia force kept him in Somalia, where he was apparently deployed for practice. The sentence was read to him at the Nairobi Area Anti-Terrorist Police Unit, where the collection of weapons seized in his rental house in Kayole was displayed. A submachine gun, an AK-47, a revolver, 717 rounds of ammunition and 13 grenades. <laughs> he is 28 years old now and has a one-year-old child, but seemed unfazed even with the realization that he will be spending the rest of his life behind bars. Before his case came up for mention, two other suspected Al-Shabaab members alleged to have been associated with him and facing similar charges were also brought to court. Unlike Bire though, Omar Mushiri Athman, also known as Hussein, and Stephen Masharia, a.k.a. Muchango, denied all charges, including that of being members of the outlawed criminal group. Prosecution requested the court to have the two suspects detained in custody for five more days pending the conclusion of investigations, a plea objected to by their lawyer, Mbogwa Murevi. <laughs> The magistrate, however, ruled that the prosecutor's request was not in bad faith, considering the sensitive situation the country was currently in. And so the two were remanded in custody, awaiting the mention of their case Friday next week on the 4th of November. Okay. Sylvia Chibet, Citizen Weekend.